tech lead and co-founder of the Things Network. Uh, welcome to this webinar series. Uh, this webinar is about SLA uh, with the Things Network and the Things Industries. Um, so um, I have uh, prepared a few slides, which I'll uh, present now. And so here we go. Um, today I'm going to talk about the um, public community network, uh, our private network offerings, uh, support and SLA by the Things Industries. Uh, we have a conference discount, uh, especially today, and uh, we close with uh, some questions and answers. So this is our overview. This is our stack, the V3 stack uh, that we'll be releasing soon. Uh, currently, we operate our V2 stack in the public community network and in private networks. Um, this stack is the architecture. It's good to keep in mind because I uh, come back on this a few times in the presentation. The public community network uh, today uh, is operated by um, four parties. So the Things Network Foundation operates a uh, public cluster in the EU, in the US, Brazil, and Singapore. The Open Network Infrastructure Association, uh, together with SWITCH in Switzerland, operates a cluster in Switzerland. And um, yeah, MESHT in Australia operates a public cluster in Australia and Digital Catapult in the UK. Uh, this is um, this is our global um, public community network, and uh, we also plan to extend this network um, when we have V3 ready, because then it will be much easier to add new public clusters to the public community network. And so um, uh, we have ongoing conversations, but we also uh, seek um, new um, partnerships with. Uh, um, uh, contributors in the community, uh, very often universities or other foundations and associations to really become part of our core routing. So the Things Network, Public Community Network, is a really decentralized network that's not operated by one single party. This is uh, an overview of, uh, of the numbers. So we started in August 2015, um, and now in November 2018, uh, we've expanded to um, 95 countries, uh, more than 700 cities. Um, the servers are located in eight different locations, um, uh, routing millions of packets per day. The reason to, to distribute this network is not only to decentralize really the routing itself, but also to keep the latencies low. Uh, we have uh, more than 8,000 gateways connected to the public network and uh, more than 55,000 users registered. Uh, on the things network, so it's it's really big, um, and um, and it works really well. And uh, I'm gonna uh, dive a little bit deeper in that before I go uh, talk about the SLA that we offer for uh, commercial private networks. So the reliability of the public network is actually really good, and especially if you consider that it's a free service that's um, offered by uh, four different parties. The, um, the operations is best effort, uh, support is offered by the community. So uh, we can't give any guarantees on the public community network uh, because it's decentralized. The clusters are independent and that means that if there are any issues with a cluster in Singapore that we op operate or a cluster in the EU, then that doesn't affect the routing, for example, uh, carried out by ONIA Switch in Switzerland uh, or the other clusters that we are operating. Um, out of all the clusters, the um, busiest cluster is in the EU. Uh, that's operated by the Things Network Foundation. And um, uh, over the last few months, we averaged uh, uh, only uh, about six minutes downtime per month. And that's just for normal updates and, and, and maintenance, uh, which um, results in 99.986% uptime. And I think that's really, really good for uh, for a free service um, with uh, just best efforts operations. Uh, if there are any incidents, it's typically um, in the console, so it's more the user interface, uh, you know, to see which gateways are online, uh, even though the routing is not really affected. Um, but again, this is best effort, uh, and we very often get the question, um, so, you know, I want to deploy a commercial solution, um, and I have paying customers, so even though this is a great number for uptime, uh, we need to have a guarantee that um, the service is available. And that is what we offer with um, the Things Industries, a commercial SLA and support for private networks. The deployment models uh, of the Things Industries, um, we actually have three different commercial offerings. 
So here in the top, you see the, the TTM public community network, um, which is multi-region, out of scaling, um, but we don't here support SLA and uh, we don't offer SLA and support. Uh, in uh, the things industries, we offer then uh, our hosted solution, our SaaS solution, uh, private clouds and images and binaries. And here you can also see that uh, these three commercial offerings are supported and the hosted solution, because that runs on our infrastructure that we manage in a professional way, uh, is backed by a service level agreement. For the public community network, uh, we have a status page, um, status.thethings.network, uh, which runs independent of our infrastructure. And um, if there are any issues with the public network, uh, or if you don't get data on your application, you can go there uh, and see if there are any issues. We also have an ops channel on our uh, community Slack uh, where you can interact um, also with other people, but also with our operations team um, and, and see what's going on. So this is really for, for, for quick insight. And again, this is for the public community network. So back to the private network. Um, our service level agreement is 99.9% uh, .9 guaranteed uh, on, on all the services. And uh, we made a distinction between critical services, critical components, and non-critical components. And critical components here are the components that are really part of the routing. So in V3, that is the gateway server, the network server, the application server, the joint server, and the identity server. If any of those components have issues, then the routing is almost immediately affected. So when the joint server goes down, for example, devices are not able to join. Um, when the identity server goes down, we cannot uh, validate tokens and API keys, uh, so that also results directly in issues. But when the console, for example, has issues, that is just the user interface, um, so that is what we consider a non-critical component. And we defined the mean time to restore uh, in, um, in four hours for the critical components and 12 hours for the non-critical components. Uh, we also do scheduled maintenance. Um, so these are typically just uh, regular software updates um, that we schedule. Um, in our V3 hosted uh, offering, uh, we will also announce this beforehand. Uh, and this typically is a downtime of, of seconds or, or usually less than a minute. Um, so most operations are not affected there. Uh, and we also um, uh, report on performance. And we also make this much easier with our V3 deployment and I'll uh, come back on that a little bit later. Um, we have a few different support plans. Um, so apart from the SLA, that is um, our service level agreement on the hosted solution, we have uh, support plans on both the hosted on, on all the three commercial solutions. So the, the hosted SaaS solution, uh, our private cloud offering, and uh, commercial images and binaries. Uh, the baseline support, which is included, um, means that you have a contact channel to us. Um, there is a knowledge base uh, with, with a lot of information about private networks and uh, issues that have been reported in the past and, and ways to resolve that. Uh, and of course, also there is, uh, it's the same uh, core software as the Things Network, uh, Community Network. So the documentation in the Learn section on our website also applies as well as the forums of the Things Network. Um, but we also provide the, this support channel. So on the commercial side, we also have um, a standard support plan, um, which uh, entails that we uh, provide debugging services for um, to find issues with the devices. Unfortunately, there are many devices out there that are not LoRa Alliance certified, uh, and they often misbehave on our network. Um, it's not it's not usually a very big issue. It's not widespread, but it happens. Um, uh, obviously, uh, when devices are not LoRa Alliance certified, uh, they misbehave, and that is um, uh, something that you will also see in the behavior of the network. But one of the services is that we dig into this and, and give you information about what exactly goes wrong. Uh, we also support on the optimal use of LoRaWAN in devices and applications. Um, LoRaWAN is a very uh, is is designed for constrained devices. So if you are not really used to um, to LoRaWAN in your solution. Um, this is also what we uh, where we provide support, but also uh, troubleshooting any issues um, uh, that you have. 
On top of that, we have an uh, extended support plan, um, which uh, builds uh, on top of the standard support. Um, this includes um, no uh, cap on the number of support tickets. Um, we help on the application design. We help with uh, applying best practices. Uh, and this is not only in general, but also specifically for your solution. Uh, and we give um, access to the infrastructure event logs. And this gives a lot of information about what's going on really uh, underneath. Uh, and finally, uh, we also support here on advanced setups. So that may include um, uh, a custom uh, Kubernetes deployment for, for a large uh, scale private network uh, using our technology, but also um, implementing uh, firmware updates, for example. So what does that look like? This is an overview that we use uh, on a daily basis to operate our private networks. So this is one of our uh, private networks um, where we get uh, real-time insight in what's going on. So we see here the, um, the resource consumption, but also the message rates. Um, uh, so this, is, uh, this network is doing 10 uh, messages per second, about 300 gateways connected, about 12 and a half thousand devices registered. Um, and if there are any irregularities, we see that immediately. And this also triggers events to us, uh, to our operations team, um, so we can act uh, immediately. Uh, and that also includes, of course, all the insight in the uh, actual processes that are running. So if we, if we have memory issues, if we have CPU issues, we, we see that immediately. Uh, you can find um, a copy of the service level agreement uh, in this link. Um, we'll probably also uh, share the link in the chat. Um, so uh, it, it's, um, it's the, the service level agreement contract uh, that we offer through the things industry. So that gives you all the details uh, about the, uh, the SLA that we offer. Uh, summarizing on the public community network, uh, support is, um, is a community uh, driven uh, operations our best effort. In practice though, this means that we have a really, really good uptime uh, that we are um, uh, really proud of uh, ourselves, but also uh, on our partners that, that are part of the core infrastructure. On private networks, uh, we guarantee the uptime um, of 99.9%, .9%, but in practice, this is also uh, a similar number. Um, and uh, we provide next to the SLA, uh, we provide dedicated support um, in two different plans. So it's time for questions. Um, you can ask questions in the chat, uh, and um, I'm, uh, I'm happy to answer them. So uh, we'll also share these slides, and um, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.